President, are you also concerned about the rest of your uh, domestic and foreign policy initiatives being in peril because of what we saw happen yesterday, the dysfunction in Congress, uh, the chaos that we saw on the House side? Does that concern you in any way? <laughs> the dysfunction always concerns me. The programs that uh, we have uh, argued over, we passed bipartisanly. I'm not concerned that they're going to all of a sudden come in and try to undo them. Although there will be some. There will be some, I'm sure. There's uh, half a dozen or more extreme MAGA Republic Republicans who would like to eliminate just about everything I've done. Um, but uh, I, I don't think that's going to get there. If I may, um, without additional funding, how long will the United States be able to support Ukraine? We can support Ukraine in the next tranche that we need, and there is another means by which we may be able to uh, find funding for that, but I'm not going to get into that now. Mr. President, have you promised President Zelensky attackants for Ukraine? Say again. Have you promised President Zelensky during his visit in the White House that you would provide attackants the long-range missiles for Ukraine? I have spoken with Zelensky, and everything he's asked for, we've worked out. Sir, not that they're asking, what's your advice to the next, next House Speaker? <laughs> That's above my pay grade. Thank you, sir.